Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode from the Forever Bedrock Realm, and our first episode back from my break. So guys, we have a lot planned for today's episode, and we are going to get a lot done. First things first, we are going to start off by placing all seven of these boxes of red sand that we acquired in between episodes. So let's get started right now. have it guys we are done placing the red sand in our build so i know watching the time lapse you guys might have seen that we didn't completely place all the red sand we actually only used about four and a half shulker boxes i still got three left over which is good so we went up this high on the mountain and the reason we're stopping is because i'm going to do a gradient up the mountain to the top of mons olympus and of course this is going to be our volcano but, you know, we can't finish a big project like this if I can fly here on the realm, which I cannot. But, <laughs> you know, we do have to expose the new map and see how much progress we made. So if we come to the back of the ship here, we can go ahead and check out our map. I just have to hurtle through my storage room here. But I did hang the map back up. You guys saw that Freb gave me all those totems of undying last episode. And I did put those in the shulker or in the chest over here. So they're still safe and sound. So let's go ahead and take a look at these maps. All right. So this is the first map. Okay. I thought we definitely made more progress in this. Oh, we did. We did. We just aren't in range of the map. Come on. This whole section should be done. Okay. There we go. Now it's starting to orange up. There we go. We just had to walk over here. That was a problem. I thought we were closer than this, to be honest with you. You don't really realize the massive scale of this project until you actually walk through it. Now, these little caves and everything through here, of course, we're going to go ahead and, you know, mars those up a little bit. We're not just going to leave blank caves and then over here we have all that so on this map this evidently goes a lot further over than we originally thought i thought this map kind of ended like right with this tree line but we came all the way over to here and it appears as if this map goes 
actually a pretty far ways into here. So this map ends somewhere over here in the woods. So we're actually going to have to take out a few more trees here, it seems, which is good because my log shop is currently out of logs. And <laughs> we can restock with some of those. But yeah, we did get a major amount of red sand placed. So like I said, four shulker boxes and we got at least to a point now where we can start thinking of our next build, which is always a good sign. So guys, now I wanna change gears and I wanna go ahead and finish putting up all of this copper. Now, of course, you can see I have a massive copper wall in front of the ship and we have all of this copper laying around here, which most of it has oxidized, thankfully. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up. We'll go ahead and we'll start building our ship again. And uh, as far as I can tell, this will definitely be enough copper to finish it. Now we are gonna add some cut copper onto this and you know, add a little detail with cut copper. We gotta put like the, you know, bay in the bottom and stuff like that. But let's go ahead and add this part on and finish the cab. All right, guys, so we went ahead and we finished up the spaceship. So, of course, there is a couple blocks missing here and there. We got to work the shape in more and more, but we do have enough copper to finish. So what we have here is basically a completed Planet Express ship. And, of course, you know, we do got to add the detail and the wings in. So we're going to do that probably in a couple episodes, only because next episode I want to go ahead and start a game over in the gaming district because a lot of us have been talking about starting to put multiplayer games over there. But there we go. We have the ship. I think what I might want to do is go ahead and make this here a tad bit pointier. Um, you know, it's something we'll have to play around with, play with the shape. But of course, we have the front, we need the window, we need the big door right there, and then we need the three wings in the back. And we'll just consider that detail work. We have, of course, the giant jet engine thing here in the back, which I actually think came out pretty good. If I can fly here on the realm, I can. There we go. All right, so we have this, and of course, I want to add a little bit of smoke and everything, kind of make this look like it's actually taking off. You know, I don't want it just to be like looking kind of plain sitting here, but yeah, I mean, we got a lot of work done this episode, and you know, we got all of this done. We just got to go ahead and start our Mons Olympus project, which is going to be another huge project, but at least the big stuff is out of the way. Now, I know a lot of you are probably sitting there looking at my levels and the fact that I have no armor on. And that is because I actually tried to prank Joe and I did record it, but I wasn't recording the right window at the time. So it actually didn't record everything. So let's go ahead and actually head on over there. So over here, you guys can see a giant hole in the earth and a bunch of obsidian. So earlier in the episode, I had actually found a piece of Joe's equipment. He had a shulker box just randomly sitting in the nether with, you know, his property of Joe engineering on it. So I took it and I told him I'd give it back to him, but I wanted to make it like a challenge for him. You know, I didn't want to make it too easy. You know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta earn it, right? So what I did was I built all these pillars, which you can see remnants of them there. And they were loaded with TNT and the whole floor was loaded with TNT. And then where the obsidian is, is actually where there was uh, end crystals. And I was placing pressure plates down so Joe would kind of have to like navigate the maze on the floor of TNT that he couldn't see. And I didn't know you could place a pressure plate under your feet and activate it simultaneously. So the whole thing ended up blowing up. I died. My totem didn't save me because there were just so many explosions going on simultaneously. And I lost all my stuff. I lost Joe's shulker box and, you know, we lost a prank. So... Yeah, we're going to have to work on getting our gear back, which shouldn't be too hard. Thankfully, we do have the trading post on the server, so we can just go ahead and grab new gear. And of course, I have plenty of netherite. So there will be no like explosions this episode only because, you know, I haven't made a Forever Bedrock Realm video recently enough to really count, you know, likes. So however many likes this video gets, I'll double it for the next video and we will do a bunch of like explosions. Now that everyone has mob farms set up, I can get TNT a lot easier. So... 
that is actually going to conclude this episode. So if you guys enjoyed this Forever Bedrock episode, the amount of work we got done, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you leave a like, and as always, make sure you leave a comment. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.